Hello, Todd Connitz here. I want to welcome you to the One Lucky Penny Guy website. If you're new to the site, click up above. You get to see the story on how I traded a penny I found on the ground on a joke about my wife and uh, want to live out a dream. And I traded it all the way to Winnie the Winnebago, and now I'm going to drive across Route 66 to L.A. to shake Jay Leno's hand. And uh, everybody goes, what? What? That's crazy. Well, Jay Leno is not somebody that I admire and, you know, just chasing after. Or I'm not some psycho person. Uh, I have a dream list of things I want to do in my life. And Jay just happened to be way down here. I saw him on here, and I thought he was an interesting person um, because I like his cars, and I'd like to see he's met so many incredible people and hear some of those stories. Uh, so it really, it's just a person I'd like to meet. There's many other people, places I want to go, things I want to do, um, but it was about dreaming. Um, so even something so simple as starting out as a joke has turned into this dream journey, and the people I've been able to meet um, have been incredible, uh, to say the least. And so people started sending me those dreams in. And, you know, with Thanksgiving right around the corner, I just wanted to touch base on this because it's a huge uh, Thanksgiving for me because all of you that have tuned in, I've had thousands of people. Um, the counter stopped working on the website. I think we're over half a million hits. Um, and it's just been awe-inspiring for me and humbling that people log on to the website and you guys watch uh, some little house painter here in Kansas going after dreams and just writing them. If you click um, over there, that link that's up there, it says dream book entry, you can read some of the dreams that have come in and some make you laugh and some just rip your heart out and, and you just want to help. And I don't know what thing, where, where things are going to lead next and I don't know what's going to happen around the corner. I do know this, is I do know that I'm going to make the trip out to L.A. very soon. Uh, Jay retires in May, and uh, when he's all fixed, you guys have taken care of that with donations that have come in, and you've kept sending me dreams, and I, I've kept writing them down. These are the dreams that I need to now put into the dream book that have come in. Um, so if you have a dream you want to add to the dream book and come into the journey, by, by all means, send it my direction. Uh, dreambookentry at yahoo.com, and I'd be happy to write it down and put it in the book. Um, but looking back on this, it's just been an incredible, humbling uh, experience. And it came down to is, is that uh, I think we were all born. Now, wh whether you believe in God or not or creation or whatever, um, we were all born with this dreams on our hearts and things that we were meant to. You, you felt like you were meant to go do something. Uh, the problem is, is that life squashes it out of us. Um, we have children, and they take precedent over things, and we have a wife, and we have commitments, and pretty soon those dreams that we might have had these small whispers in the back of our head um, kind of get suppressed, but yet they're still there, and they still poke up once in a while, and your heart comes alive, um, and that, in those moments where your heart just like wants to go do this, uh, I think that's where you find that. Um, where you need to be and what you were created for. And right now, even making this video, uh, this is a passion of mine. I love coming to talk to you guys. I love sharing with you uh, the different things, hearing about your dreams and hearing your passions. And I don't know where our journey is going to go together. Uh, I'd really like to make the trip out to L.A. and meet Jay and shake his hand. And then I'd like to just pull these dreams out of the dream book and pull one out. And like uh, Steph wants to learn, she wants to write a children's book and publish it. Um, you know, if there was something that I could do to help, I'd load up in Winnie and I'd come and see you and I'd bring your story uh, to the website and we can we can share together. And that's what I would love to do. Drive Winnie all over the United States and, and just meet you and, and just bring your story or your testimony or whatever you'd like to do to everyone else and just share. And I think that would just be a, a powerful experience. So. Uh, I want to just share with you one other thing before I take off. You know, I tend to talk a lot, and I'm sorry about that, but it's just me. Um, I look at this every single day, and I think it's pretty cool because even I, everybody goes, oh, you're so optimistic and everything. I get beat up every day, just like you do. And, um, but I look at this every day because this was given to me by Maggie. And Maggie is, um, I think she's nine now. I think she was eight last year when she gave it to me. And she made this little card for me. And uh, it just keeps things in perspective for me. And it's this right here. It says, follow your dreams. Now, that's me with the big ears, of course, I think, which is great. And that's Winnie there with the penny on it. And um, <laughs> I've been asked about writing a book later on when this is all done. And I think this would be a great cover for the book. But anyway, I wanted to read to you just in here. It says, Dear Mr. Todd, 
Thank you very much for the videos. I love all your enthusiasm. Thank you for all your advice and following your dreams. You are very cool and awesome and nice, and I follow your advice. I hope that you have a very, very good trip. Um, and I, she gave me a, a couple dollars for gas, which was great. And uh, just she just loves you. And it just says, I know you'll have a great time and love you, Maggie. It's things like this, you know, every day. I'm not a teacher. I'm sure teachers really get a kick out of this because they probably receive things at Christmas and stuff. But um, besides my kids giving me things, I think this is pretty much the coolest thing I've received. And I guess I bring that to you is, is that even a, a child at 8 or 9 years old, they have dreams on their heart. And maybe you need to think back a little bit and think back of what that could have been and, and where you could have gone and, and what you could have done because even at this point where things are all beating you down and and you're looking around going I, you know I don't know if I have any hope I don't my financial situation stinks you've been given this big dream that's come on you and you're like I don't have the finances to do this I don't have the know-how to do this I don't I don't know where to even start and that is an awesome feeling because now it's not you trying to do it it's, it's a God-inspired dream, something bigger than you, um, something that people can join you and, and you can take this journey together. And that is just a, a powerful feeling. So even this little journey to drive Winnie out to L.A. Um, is an incredible experience in itself because it's scary to me. I know everybody says, oh, you're going to have so much fun, you're going to meet these people because I'm going to drive four hours a day and set up camp and meet people and bring them to a small little web show so you guys can, can hear and see the things of the towns and where I'm at. Um, but that's scary. It's daunting because I don't know who I'm going to meet. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I just know that uh, God might have a plan for that. He, he, he is leading me that direction. And doors have been closed. And you guys have seen me go through this like up and down thing. It's like, all right, if this isn't going to happen, then it's out of my control. I can't do anything about it. And then all of a sudden, door opens. And somebody fixes the transmission on Winnie. And this person says, hey, you need to talk to this person. They might have know somebody in Garmin that might want to help out. Or, or uh, somebody sends me a, a cool little email or or you know, doors open, doors close, and sometimes you're, you're excited and sometimes you're not. But the fact of the matter is, is you're going for it. And we'll, we're going to see what happens together. And we're going to have a great time. So I just wanted to say thank you. Um, thank all of you for tuning into the website. Thank all of you for sending me dreams. Um, it's been very humbling and sharing that personal thing. And I, I just wanted to say thanks. Since this is a Thanksgiving time, um, I hope... Uh, that I will be able to share with you and you guys get inspired and we make this journey together. I keep saying that. We're in this together and uh, we're going to have a great time. So um, down below, I want you to watch this video. Uh, last week I met a gentleman uh, that was telling me about a guy in, in L.A. His name's Erwin uh, McManus. And uh, I didn't know a whole lot about him, um, but I started doing research and I stumbled on one of his videos. And um, I just felt it was so appropriate. Uh, because we were created for something bigger and uh, something glorious in mind, something bigger than us. And a lot of times we go through life without a purpose, um, but the purpose is right there. You just got to ask and, and, and you'll find. And so watch the video down below. It's like two minutes. Uh, it really was pretty inspiring to me. I hope to, I'd like to meet him sometime and talk to him um, because he's got a couple books that would be neat to meet. And so, and he's in LA, go figure, you know, I just might stop by and, and, and Winnie and, and have a chat with them. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a blessed day. Watch the video down below, and I look forward to talking to you real soon. I'll be out of town for Thanksgiving, but I ch always check emails. So send me a dream if you have or a question, uh, dreambookentry at yahoo.com. Log into the website, um, become a subscriber, and you'll get updates on when I do the updates and things like that. Put your pin in on the world map down below. So I guess there's one last thing to say, and that would be um, dare to dream dare to dream because it is daring and it's scary but it's so much fun so have a blessed day guys and i'll talk to you soon